tell Michael to break up with Clarissa. It's for the best. But Michael's dead. How could I even... Whoa, wait, what? what's happening? Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? Jonas, if you're still there, this would be a great time to say something. When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What, what is... How, how is this possible? What's going on? Well, that could have gone better. Right. Time loop. Tell Michael he should go to school here. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. Oh, hey, I didn't even know you were home. You're always so quiet. It's like living with a little fairy tale mouse. Wait, I'm... Th this is our house. I'm not. I can't play Amnesia Spy Girl right now. Seriously, pretend to snap Ren's neck on your own time. I've been, like, struggling with this stupid speech, the graduation thing. I don't want it to be just the usual blah blah we've come so far type stuff. It should have, like, a point, right? It should bring you to your feet about something. Graduation speech, is that what we're talking about? Aw oh, man, you haven't been listening at all. It's okay, this is really boring. I'm guessing mom probably told you about my scholarship to state, right? I don't really know how I feel about it. I mean, I feel it's not like it's a bad thing. It's a good thing, obviously. What is it? Don't want to go? Like, are you thinking of another school or? Nah, it'd be that school if it was going to be a school. It's just, you know, it seems like half the teachers are alumni and... Actually, I'm about to be really arrogant and presumptuous and say mean things for no real reason other than I think I know better, so forget it. I have bored you enough. I'm boring me right now. No, 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 keep going. It's fine. I hate people too. You can rag on the town. What, you think the teachers are wasting their lives? Well, they are wasting their lives. <laughs> All right, okay, thank you, but really, never mind. It had nothing to do with anything. Okay, so let's say you have two choices. One is safer. You know what? I'm not even going to shroud it in whatever. Look. I'm thinking of not going to school at all. Any school. I'm thinking of just forfeiting the money and not doing it. Why? Don't you want to... I mean, it's not like it'd be hard for you, and you can wait to declare what you want to do. I know I can, but I'm scared that if I let myself go, that'll be it. I'm never leaving. Listen to the thousand and one things I love about you, Alex. The fact that you don't care what people think about you will always hover around the top five. It's why I ask my little sister for advice all the time. And why I can still look at myself in the mirror. Thanks. I like to consider myself a one-woman roadshow of baseless yet staunch opinions. Yes, exactly. But anyways, all of that is why I need you to tell me. Really, what do you think I should do? Go to school here, or take a chance and leave? Michael, stay here. Please, I don't want you to go. Alex, just get good friends, okay? And when you're with those friends, just say yes to everything. And keep away from boys when you talk to them, it feels like you're performing. But also, stay away from girls who look you in the eye for too long. And match every beer with a water. And take classes outside of school. Classes you don't need. Michael, what is... what's this for? What, what are you doing? This is just... this is a just-in-case package, okay? Just in case I'm not around. And I love you, and you're amazing, and that's it. So... I love you too.
but soon I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Hey, look who's finally awake. Maybe don't get up immediately. Michael, how... What's happening? Well, it's a combination of things, I guess. Michael carried you here from the cave. Because you were, you know, comatose. She doesn't. It's okay. You don't care. What's happening is that the tuning thing we did in the cave, it worked. The ghosts are gone. We're going home. Or at least they've... They've stopped trying to eat our souls. Yeah, it's important to know- But, uh, okay, good to know, great, hooray, but how exactly is Michael here right now? What do you mean? Yeah, I've been here all night. Are you feeling okay? I mean, we all feel pretty bad, You but... don't remember Michael coming with us? I cannot believe what I'm hearing. Michael drowned very tragically last year. I mean, Clarissa, come on, of all people, verify here. Verify what? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Yeah, I mean, you saw lots of bad stuff. Yeah, don't you remember? It's been you and me all night. We did the call to, to open the bomb shelter. You don't remember this. That was Jonas and I. Jonas and I slogged through the forest to get Ren. Jonas and Alex, I went- Alex, I was with Ren when you and Mike picked us up. Yeah, I mean, Jonas has been with me the whole time. Which, you know, terrible way to show you what we do here for fun, by the way. Sorry about that. I mean, I invited the poor guy. He just moved here with his dad, and... Yeah, we know. He picked you up in gym class so you could dunk the Guys, ball. Guys, no, Jonas... I brought Jonas. He's my new stepbrother. His dad is marrying... He's marrying our mom. <laughs> oh, what? Boy. What are Alex, you talking about? maybe you should lie down again. Yeah, this isn't... Jonas, good. come on. It's you and me now, pal. We had, like, a year's worth of memories in one eight-hour span. You know me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't know you. No, not really. And it's not like I don't want to know you. I mean, you know, we can, like, hang out or something when we get back. Like, during the year, you know? I'm just, uh... I can't believe this. It's okay. Come on, it's all right. We'll all get back into the swing of things. Start feeling our freshest again soon enough, I'm sure. Yeah, you'll, uh, ripen in no time. I can't believe everything that happened. I just... I feel like we should tell everyone we know. Like, go on a freaking book tour, but... What? No, are you kidding? We have... Well, we don't have evidence of ghosts, but we know there's a continuation, a, a sort of life after death. This is like the moon landing times a billion. Except no one will believe it. Is this... Rin, didn't you lose a book? Holy crap! This is it! Thank you! I lost it on the way. I thought for sure some commuter would have just tossed it overboard. Hey, or... that reminds me. What were we... We were talking about something stupid right before Alex woke up. Prom? Oh, oh, prom. 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 You guys have fun with that. Are you going, Alex? Are we supposed to still spike the punch or just bring in flasks? I mean, do they even... I spent homecoming eating bottomless fries at that fast food emporium, and I'm going to stick with that plan for this, I think. All right, you know what? It's picture time. Oh, mm. my God. Come on. Oh, come on. No, no. What? We earned this one. No, no more pictures. I'm sure we all look like we've been through a thresher. Oh, shush. You look fine. We all look fine, I say. And we're gonna soon start aging out of our best years, facially speaking, so we should probably take advantage. You've kind of already started. Let's, um, let's actually move outside so we can get the light. Sure. Ren, what is that book, anyway? I don't know. I can hardly make heads or tails out of what the hell he's talking about half the time. Here's good for the... yeah, just here. Like, look. I'll just pick a random-ass page. Come on, Alex. Get in here. Like this, here. When I was younger, I could remember anything, whether it happened or not. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Okay, everyone. Wait, didn't you... Cheese! Before we'd left, I told my mom I was spending the night at a friend's house. And when I got back, I didn't see any reason to change that story. And you know what? I still don't. Ren always loved the town, but the island pretty much erased that in one fell swoop. He ended up going to college in California. He was my best friend, but I don't know if I'll ever see him again.
Nona, I think, is going to some ballet academy somewhere, but I kind of fell out of touch with her, to be honest. Clarissa fled to the East Coast, dropped out of college, and works at a boutique. Nobody really talks to her. Not even Michael is on good terms. I can't imagine she'll ever come back. Not if the island's here. Since Michael never left, we never had our going away thing at the lake, and so he never drowned. He stayed in town to get an engineering degree. He's content, but he sometimes thinks he would have been happier trying to go out on his own. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he just misses Clarissa. Jonas never remembered my version of things, though I held out hope for a while that he would. We still hang out all the time, though. He goes to school in town. I call him my other brother. Not to his face. Don't tell Mike. It's funny. What happened on the island used to pop into my head every single day. And then every other day. And then a week went by and I realized I hadn't thought about it at all. I guess that's... I don't know. It's good, I think. Anyways, I, um, well, if it matters. I decided to stay in town and go to college here. It's practically up the road, and I just wanted something familiar, I guess. But anyways, Oh, what time is it? <gasps> yeah, sorry, I gotta run or I'll miss the ferry. Run's dragging me out to Edwards Island for that yearly beach party thing. And I have to pick up what's-his-name Jonas, too. <sighs> I hope he's not weird or mean or something. Whatever. I'm sure it'll be fun. It's something to do, right?